Okay, this next demo, I'm going to show how to <clears throat> use FME Server to pull data from a different device. This says the uh, the common spot GPS device. Um, it's popular with people who go to the backcountry and um, and um, just you know as a nice personal device and way to c collect your um, information. So anyway, so one of our um, guys at uh, Safe Software, Ken Bragg, went on a bike trip and he has one of these, and um, he published his. Um, his location um, as on his bike trip. Now the thing to note about uh, this GPS device is it does not push to the HTTP. What it does is it um, it connects to its own server and then if you want data from that server you need to pull the data from that. So this is an example of FME server talking to the different kind of sensor and that's the one in which you actually have to pull the data from the uh, the spot device. So I'm going to show you how that works. And again, it's very simple. Okay. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at the workspace here. So we will look at the workspace, and you're going to see that it's very very simple. Essentially, what it does is it uses the um, HTTP fetcher here to hit a URL that is given. Um, right there that is given by the uh, the, the, um, the spot vendor and basically um, the contents whatever that URL returns is stored in an attribute called URL contents now it turns out it's XML so then it's a simple um, exercise within FME to simply break up the XML and then last but not least we write it into a, uh, a Google a Google Fusion table. Okay, so that's the workspace. So we publish that on the server, um, and then by doing that, we get a nice Google Fusion table here that shows his um, his uh, path. Now, how did we actually um, communicate with the server? Well, what we did is we actually created a scheduled job. Here it is here, and it essentially runs that workspace I just showed you. Um, every in this case it looks like it's uh, reoccurring every 30 minutes I think and um, so every 30 minutes this job's going to run it's going to run that workspace I just showed you which is going to pull data from the server and it's going to um, update the Google Fusion table only if the time it doesn't get the uh, the, the, the time it only does the one in which the timestamps it hasn't seen before so it doesn't put duplicates into the table but that is it again very sh small workspace that enables you to uh, do that so this is an example of how the scheduler can be used um, in associated with um, the HTTP capabilities of FME to easily pull data um, from a different type of server which does not support um, push, but in this case, pull. Okay, and there you have it.